What's up, y'all? It's a beautiful day today, and I do have a little bit of free time before we lose some sunlight outside. Um, so let's go ahead and knock out a little bit of a Corvette life hack together, and uh, let's get ready for this weekend's Cars and Coffee. Alright, so today we're going to be dealing with probably the most annoying thing to deal with when you own a C5 is when you go to wash it, your taillights leak. That's because there's a body gap right up in here that's not filled by the taillight. So today we're going to put a little in that and we're going to stop that issue and we're going to make it a little bit better too. So let's get started. So this is pretty much all you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need some seal. You can get this at pretty much any store, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, you don't have to do these, but I decided to because my uh, taillight screws are rusty. So these are some painted uh, stainless steel screws to put in my new taillights. Um, you're going to need a microfiber towel wetted with either like a quick detail or some soap and water will do fine. And then either a drill or a screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get started. These are all pretty basic tools you can do right home in your driveway. All right, so with our screws out, this is what we're left with. Go ahead and just take your headlight, or your taillight, sorry, out of the housing. As you can see, there is a bunch of crap in there, so that's why we have a microfiber that is damp. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and wipe that up. Gently. So there's not really much of a secret to this part, guys. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your seal, you're gonna lay it along the most inner edge of your taillight housing on your rear bumper. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna prevent stuff from coming into the top and then leaking out with the bottom of your taillight housing. Um, so you're just gonna cut a strip to length and then lay it along where you just clean for a nice adhesion and then we'll get our taillights put back in. And there we have it guys, super easy. It took me like 30 seconds. You just rip it in half and then cut it to length. Lay it along the inner side of the tail right housing. Like I said, and you're gonna wind up with a little tail if you cut some with a little bit to spare. Just go ahead and chop that off right there and then you're good to go on that one. So let's go ahead and get started on this one here. So since we got our seals laid, let's go ahead and put our tail lights back in the housings. All right, guys, there we are. Job is completely done. New hardware's in, seals are ran, so that way there would be no leakage when we go to wash our car the next time. I hope you guys found this informative and useful, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.